Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening mga Matibay students. Welcome to Matibay class and welcome to English class. <laughs> class, class, English, English. <laughs> Math and English class tayo ngayon. Bakit mo nasabing English class? Dahil we Our will be talking about defining simple and compound proposition. proposition. Ibig sabihin, uh, analyzing tayo ng sentences. Ayan. General mathematics kasi kaya lahat ng topics nandito, ah, di ba? So, we are now in module 22. Okay, malapit-lapit na actually hanggang module 28 tayo. Pero baka hindi na natin matapos. Kasi, e, bonus mo na kasi yan, ma'am. Hindi, hindi ay, madali, madali lang to. Madali masaya lang to. <laughs> We're not sure kung matatapos nating lahat. Pero, we'll give Ipinitin our best natin. pa rin ni Sir Jason. Okay? So, let's proceed now with our objectives. We have two First is to define simple and compound propositions. And second is evaluating simple and compound propositions. Let's so, do this! Okay. Ayan, dito sa topic po natin na ito, wala tayong solving-solving. Ayan, oh, puro sentences tayo, yes. But before that, let us define first kung ano nga ba ang tinatawag na simple proposition. When we say simple propositions, Ma'am Tintin, it is a declarative sentence subject for affirmation or denial. Ibig sabihin, Ma'am, um, totoo or hindi. Mm -hmm. It is a statement with truth value, either true or false. Kaya yeah, nasabi ko kanina, but cannot be both. Yeah, Ibig it's sabihin, either true lang. Or false, false. lang. So for example, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Yes, true it yun. is false. Oh. Tayo true pala na true. Oh, pwede rin naman, 2 plus 3 is equal to 4. Yun ang false. false. Ayan. Oh, okay. So, a proposition is simple if it cannot be broken down any further into other compo component proposition. It is a sentence with one subject and one predicate. predicate. Isa lang daw. Kasi nga, simple proposition yes. siya. Examples. Para mas maintindihan. Ayan. All quadrilateral sub four sides. Ayan. Of course. Parang ito nakikita ninyo sa image. Rectangle, square. Diamond. Is it true or false? True. Kasi nga, all quadrilateral sub four sides. Second. A circle is a polygon. That true or is false. false? Yes, it hindi is po, false. Hindi po polygon ang circle, ha? Yes. Okay. Next. Cheese is made for cow. True or, from cow. True or false? True. True. Oh, so, ang simple proposition dyan, natin... Iisa lang ang kanyang subject at iisa lang ang kanyang predicate. Yes. It, Pahala na kayong i-identify <laughs> kung nasaan ang subject at predicate Yes, it dyan. can be identified by true or false. Yun ang ating simple proposition. Subject, predicate, yes. subject, predicate, Ay, yung wala subject, wala yung predicate. Natin. O, nasa Literally. yung subject yan. Subject, predicate, subject, predicate, subject, predicate. Chamba. <laughs> Next. Let us move on with our compound proposition. Pass. <laughs> it is a proposition that involves the assembly of multiple statements. Kung kanina sa simple, isang statement oh, lang. From the word compound, so ibig sabihin, um, two or marami. more statements yes. na yan. A compound proposition is composed of two or more simple propositions. It is a proposition from simpler propositions <coughs> using logical connectors or some combinations of logical connectors. Ano nga ba yung mga connectors natin? Ito po siya. Pwede nating not P, P, P and Q. Q. P or Q, if P, then Q. Yung mga nakikita nyo yung P and Q dyan ngayon, papalitan natin yan later on ng ating mga sentences statements or, or sentences. sentences. In-enjoy natin yan during our... Face to face. face, to face. Unahan sila ng full sa board. May mga nagbabatuhan pa ng chok <laughs> dahil sa nervyos. Okay, example. Yan. Example of compound proposition. If the sky is dark, then it will rain. Ayan. Anong oh. connector na gamit natin dyan? Then. Ayan, yung word na then. Next, Sandy is either mad or disappointed of your action. Ang ginamit natin dyan ay? Or. or. And so third there, is? Mr. Johansen will sign the contract if and, and only, only if, if the, the company, company has a big salary. <laughs> ay. If the company will accept his, his condition. condition. So, ang ginamit natin ay? If, if and, and only if. if. Take natin. note. Sa first sentence natin, mga anak, yeah. ang ginamit natin na connector ay then. then. The second sentence, or, and of course, the last sentence is if and, and only if. if. Tinatawag po natin siyang compound proposition because of the connectors. Yes, dahil of ginamitan the natin connectors. siya ng connectors. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> well explained, Sir Jason. Siyempre ah, tangos. <laughs> Nakarecover ka na. Alam mo namang isa sa mga favorite kong <laughs> ano yan. Subject noon. <laughs> okay, next. Quantum 
quantitative categories of proposition. Take note na meron tayong apat. Ay, sorry, tatlo. Tinatawag silang universal, particular, and singular. When we say universal proposition... Oh, take note, when we say universal, the subject terms is taken in full extension. extension. Buong so, mundo. Oh, oh. Lahat. At saka, universal. Yes, Wala universal. siyang exemption to the rule. Okay. Kumbaga. Parang ito, example, all quadrilaterals are polygons. Oh, walang, walang ano doon, walang exemption. Kaya kay Einstein mo patanungin. Oh. All, all sides, sides of an equilateral triangle are equal in measurement. Yes. Oh, equilateral nga eh. Okay. okay. Yun, universal for all siya. Particular proposition, the subject term is taken only in particular extensions. For example, some, some birds, birds can, don't, don't some fly. birds don't fly. Okay. Tama nga naman. Kagaya ng pengi, penguin. Pengi. Kagaya ng ostrich. Lumilipad bang ostrich? Hindi. hindi. Bird ang ostrich. Siya. Bird ang ostrich, pero hindi siya nakakalipad. Oh. Some birds can fly and some birds don't, don't fly. fly. Kaya particular proposition siya. Next, singular proposition. Subject term denotes a single person or thing. So, isa lang. Uh -oh, Kagaya a nung a prime number is as only two factors. Yes. Kagaya ng one. Meron lang siyang factor na, na one, one times one. Yes. Ganun po ang ibig sabihin ng universal, particular, and singular. Oh, okay. Next, combination, combination of, of qualitative and quantitative <coughs> categories. Ayan na. Ayan. Pwede siyang either negative. affirmative or negative. negative. Affirmative or pwede siyang negative. Yeah. Okay? Sa universal affirmative, ma'am, all X is Y. Pag particular naman, sum X is oh. Y. Ano natin? Kapag sinabi natin universal, sabi natin kanina, all. all yes. Kapag particular, sum. Hindi lahat. Okay? Kapag negative naman, of course, From all X is not. Neg negation, ginagamitan siya ng word na? Not. Asa na yung arrow natin? Ginagamitan siya ng word na? Not. Because it is negative. Yes. Uh, And para mas maintindihan ulit, let's move on to our examples. First, Some dogs can be found in the wild. Ang category natin ay particular and affirmative. Yes. Why particular? Because of the word some. Yes. And Bakit why affirmative? affirmative? Dahil totoo naman na mga dogs can be found in the wild. Because some dogs can be found, found in, in the, the wild. wild. Bakit? Kasi may aso ka dyan sa bahay ninyo. Oh, hindi naman lahat ng dogs nasa, nasa wild. wild. Yes. Oh, kaya siya affirmative particular. Yes. Next. Nagets nyo po. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Ako na sumagot. Second, all alive humans breathe. O, oh, kategory natin. Universal. Bakit siya universal? Because all. of the word all. And affirmative because Bakit? it is lahat true. Lahat naman. Totoo. Totoo naman ng lahat, na lahat ng buhay ay humihinga. Tama? Okay. That is why it is universal and affirmative. Yan na, medyo Last, nakakagulo. Ayan. Not all birds can fly. Not all birds can fly. Ang sagot natin ay particular and negative. negative. Bakit siya particular? Kasi nga, hindi naman lahat talaga ng bird ay nakakalipad. Nakakalipad. And negative because of the word not. not. Ayan. So, I hope it is clear. Again, Thank, Thank you. you so much. At tapos na. Ang dali-dali ng module 20 to natin. Kasi ang galing-galing natin. Like <laughs> okay. So, sagutan, ng, sagutan na po ang inyong module na i-upload na agad-agad yan sa ating Google Classroom. And always remember everyone na lahat yan ay kakayanin natin dahil tayo ay Hashtag Matibay. Okay. Bye-bye everyone. Goodbye mga anak. <laughs>